Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hey, how about those lanterns? What's holding them up? Now, here they come now. We'll have a light for you right away. Down here. Still. Hold it still. We'll put the lanterns all around the steel. Right. Yeah, we'll have those lanterns for you. Never mind, boys. They go to lights on again. The generator's fixed. Oh, what a break. Now I'll put you through your face. Emo. Jimmy. Nicky, up. Up. Back there, Nicky. Get back. Come on, Dave. Over you go. Up high, Nemo. Nemo. Jimmy. Get up. Up high. What, Jason? Oh, thanks. You did okay, boss. Jason. Jason. How's it, Jerry? Oh, you were wonderful, Jason. Oh, Jason, are you hurt? What happened when you were out there in the dark? Now, Patsy, take it easy. Don't get all excited over nothing at all. Nothing at all? Oh, goodness, Jason, do you realize the danger you were in? How did he ever get the cats to behave in the dark? <laughs> now, wait a minute. One question at a time. Well, hurry and tell us all about it. Well, there's nothing to tell. I just tried to keep the cats in one place while I waited for the lights to go on. They sounded awful mean. I never heard them roar so loud. Oh, I guess they were scared. Just about as scared as... <laughs> well, as scared as you were, Patsy. Well, now, don't you make fun of me, Jason. You'll have to admit, it would have been pretty awful if all those cats decided to leap on you at one time out there in the dark. Didn't it occur to you that things got too bad in the steel? I could make for the door and get out. I never thought of that. Well, why didn't you do that, Jason? What? You leave all those animals alone? Panicky in the dark, I should say not. They might have torn each other to bits. You know, there's an old saying around the circus, animal trainers are cheap compared to expensive jungle animals. There's a fortune tied up in my cats. Hmm. But your life comes first, doesn't it? Well, I was taking pretty good care of Jason. Don't worry about that for one minute. Well, I'm surely glad it's all over. I never went through such an exciting few minutes in my whole life. <laughs> What's the matter, Rags, huh? Oh, I see. It's a Bendini. Hiya. Here we are. Oh, Jason, I thought you might be hurt. I am so very happy you were. How you call all in one piece. I guess I caused quite a little excitement at that. Quiet, Greg. How did you ever do it, Jason? I think it was wonderful the way you handled those lions. Now, now, this has gone far enough. If you all keep talking like this, I'll be going to Mr. Rantle and asking for a raise in the salary. <laughs> I think the audience should have paid more to money to get in, in tonight. I bet they never saw a show so good like that one. But the lights, they are fixed now. It is too bad they wait so long to get them working. They have hooked on to the city power lines now. They won't go out again tonight. Oh, and they didn't get the generator fixed. No, the generator, it is really broke. There's Bumps, Rags. Go on, he's calling you. <laughs> well, go on, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'll have to go and have a little talk with my pets before they go to sleep for the night. All right, Jason. We'll see you down at the train. Good night, Jason. I still think it was wonderful the way you handled those animals. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Okay, all right, Jason. Goodbye. Good 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 night. Night. Well, Sherry, I guess you have a big time in this town, Hansburg, yes? What do you mean? My brother, he means a lot has happened here. Sure. You get arrested by the police and everything. Oh, that. 
Yeah, it has been exciting here. Well, it seems like you've had your share, too, Carmen. Uh, I mean, with those notes threatening you. I'd like to find who writes those notes to our sister. I'd like just to get my hands on him. We get him, and when we do, it will be too bad. I know this maybe sounds kind of foolish, but don't you have any enemies or, I mean, somebody that might want to hurt Carmen? Isn't there somebody you can think of? No, Jerry. The Bandinis, I do not think, have one enemy in the world. Only friends we have got. Hmm. I wonder if it could be someone just trying to play a joke. It is no joke, these notes. I think it means business. That is poor joke, Patsy. You know, we like joke the same like anybody. But it is not joke to tell Carmen to leave the circus, or they will put acid on our wire. Have you told Mr. Randall about it yet? No, my brothers think maybe they want to try to find out who it is first by themselves. You see, Jerry, when you call in the police, sometimes you scare the one away who you are looking for. Yeah, I guess that's right. If we do not find who it is, that sends these notes, then we will get help. But the Bendinis will not fail. I will break every bone in his body, whoever is scaring our sister. Well, maybe it's someone in this town. And after we leave here tonight, we'll hear no more of it. But I have received the first note in the last town we play. Then it must be somebody that's traveling along with us. Maybe somebody with the circus is sending those notes. That is what Alfredo and I think, Jerry. Say, I I'm getting chilly. I think I'd better get over to my wagon and change into some warmer clothes. You're right. We have talked too much now, anyhow. I go with you, Patsy, as far as my dressing room. You mind if two handsome gentlemen come along with you, lady? <laughs> Not at all. But where are these handsome gentlemen, Carlos? See me does, of oh, course. Oh, oh, you... You are handsome, huh? I think you have not looked in the looking glass for some time. <laughs> oh. oh, Carmen. Come on, boys. Are you coming, Jerry? Uh-huh. Might as well. Bumps will be through soon. Jerry, you walk with me. I think you are much more handsomer than the Bendini brothers. Oh, is that so? <laughs> That's a good one on you. Huh? Come on, Jerry. We will walk on ahead of them. Okay. So, you think we care? We have the beautiful Patsy to walk with. Boy? Carlos is right. We are honored to walk with you, Patsy. Let them go on ahead. Don't get lost back there. Go on, never mind us. And listen, Jerry, take the lady's arm if you're going to walk with her. Oh, you don't have to tell Jerry how to be a gentleman. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at Jerry take Carmen by the arm. Say, Patsy. <laughs> yes, Alfredo? We have got surprise. You have? Well, what is it? You must not tell Carmen. Well, I won't, but what is it? There is an elephant that we worked with in Europe a long time ago. Even so far back that our sister Carmen used to ride on him when she was only six years old. Yes? Mr. Randall has bought him. And he will be delivered to the circus tomorrow when we get to the next town we play. Well, I haven't heard anything of it. That's funny, Jack Hastings hasn't said anything about it. Jack Hastings? Who is he? Our publicity man. Oh, he knows about it. I suppose he writes something to put in the papers when the elephant gets here. Oh. Well, well what's the surprise? It is a surprise for Carmen. We do not want her to know of it until she see El Mundo. She will be very happy to see him again. Especially after all these years. El Mundo. Is that the elephant's name? Yes. His name El Mundo. And he's the most wonderful elephant in the whole world. He is an old fellow, too. Oh, Carmen will be delighted. Our uncle was his trainer in Europe. Well, only a far away uncle. You mean a distant uncle? Yes, a fourth or fifth uncle. Mm -hmm. But maybe he come with a shipment. I mean, maybe he bring El Mundo here from Europe. Oh, then, then you'll get to see him. I will be glad to see him. Maybe he tells us something of our country. It will be good to hear of old friends. Are you handsome gentlemen coming? We are right behind you. Well, uh, how are you going to surprise Carmen? We will wait until we are free tomorrow. And then take her into the menagerie tent uh -huh. and take her up in front of El Mundo and see if she knows who it is. Oh, she's bound to remember him. I bet you anything El Mundo, he will remember Carmen. Maybe he'd pick her up when he see her. Oh, oh, I'd love to be there. Can I come with you? Sure. Tomorrow we all go over together. Oh, that'll be fun. Now, you don't tell Carmen. Oh, of course not, Carlos. I wouldn't want to spoil her surprise. But uh, how did you find out about... Uh, what's his name? El Mundo. Oh, yes. That means the world. I guess they call him that because he looks so big like the world. Oh, I find out from Mr. Randall. He asked me if I know who this elephant is. He thought I know him because he come from the same country we do. Oh. El Mundo was before he worked in a circus with the zoo. And all the children love him. He is so gentle and nice. You will see, Patsy. You will like him, too. Oh, I'm sure I will. Oh, shh, shh. Now, Carmen is getting close to her wagon. Let's not talk of El Mundo anymore. They might hear us. Why you walk so fast? Can't you wait for us? We're not walking fast. You're walking slow. How <laughs> would you like to walk with the handsome gentleman, Patsy? Well, it's quite the 
nice to have one of the Bendini brothers on each arm. I have promised to Jerry some cookies. I have a big bag full in my wagon. Would you like to have some too, Patsy? Oh, yes, Carmen, thanks. Here is my wagon now. I will go get them. You wait here. All right. Want me to go with you? No, Jerry, I'll get them. I'll be only one minute. Most gentlemen give the ladies something. But tonight, Carmen give Jerry cookies. That is <laughs> being different, no? <laughs> hey, oh. What is it, Carmen? Quick, I'll play. Oh. Come on, Patsy. Yes. Dagger. A note. See? Gee whiz. A note pinned to the door with a dagger. Look. Well, what does the note say, Carmen? I do not know. I just see it there. Here, here. I read it. This is a final warning. Leave the circus right away. This is your last chance. Oh. Look at that dagger, Carlos. It is an old one. With a carved handle. Yeah, it is the kind you see in the old country, but not here. Oh, this is bad. I am afraid. Now, now, do not be afraid, Carmen. Alfredo and I, we will find out all about this. No one will lay a hand on you while your brothers are near. Well, this really does look bad, Carlos. Hey, wait. Wait, Alfredo. Don't take that dagger down with your hands. Well, how else will I take it down? I mean, put a handkerchief over it first. There may be fingerprints on it. Ah, smart boy. You see, in our excitement, we forget all about Maybe that. Maybe we should get the police right away. No, not yet, but don't worry. Please don't worry, Carmen. We will not get out of your sight so no one will harm. Well, what are you going to do? Well, something should be done about this. You can't tell what kind of a person is sending these notes. Just give me time to think. Alfredo and I will get to the bottom of this if it is the last thing we do. We will find out who in the circus keeps knives or daggers like this one. You could get the fingerprints off it, and then maybe the police would take the fingerprints of everybody in the circus. And that way you could find out who it is. That is right, Jerry. The police could find out who it is. But how can you tell the police... We are leaving here in a couple of hours. Tomorrow, tomorrow, when we get to the next stand, we will find out. Right after breakfast. Yes, we find out after breakfast tomorrow. Can I look at that note? Sure, Jerry, here. Hmm. It's sort of printed, and with pencil, too. Well, maybe you could find out some way who prints like that. Golly, this is sure funny paper. Well, I don't think I've ever seen paper like this before. It is. I didn't notice that. That is a sort of rice paper. I know we have that kind in Europe. You are right, Carmen. They do not often sell this kind of paper here in this country. I have not seen some like this since we are over here. Then whoever is sending the notes and writing them on this kind of paper must be from Europe, too. 